Welcome to the RRI Goods Storage Bookshelf Assembly video. If you've recently purchased an RRI Goods hinged mobile storage bookshelf with two shelves and casters, this video will guide you through the step-by-step -step process of assembling your unit, making the entire process quick and easy. First, let's ensure that you have all your parts ready. You'll have two boxes. Each box will contain one half of the hinged unit. Starting in the left half is the first box, you'll have two sides, which will be the shortest boards in the box. One of the sides will have four pre-drilled holes for your hasp. The hasp is the part that will attach to the latch, which will allow you to lock your unit. The other side will have two groups of three pre-drilled holes for the hinges. The four millimeter backs are the thin rectangular pieces. The middle shelf piece has grooves on both sides. The top and bottom pieces are identical and will have the groove on just one side. Your hardware pack will include 12 hex screws and one Allen wrench, which will be replaced by a drill in this video. And finally, your casters pack will include four casters and 16 caster self-tapping screws. The caster screws will require a Phillips head screwdriver, which is not included. Take one of your side pieces and attach one of the top or bottom pieces in the corresponding dado on the side, as shown. Ensure the back grooves align with the groove in the side. Secure each piece with two hex screws in the pre-drilled holes, using six screws total. Tighten, using the provided Allen wrench, which is again replaced by the drill in this video. Attach the other top or bottom piece to the side in the same manner. The middle shelf piece goes next. All the back grooves should line up. Slide the first back piece in place. Ensure the back pieces slide snugly into the back grooves. Sometimes the back may not go in the groove smoothly. Simply press the back piece in to ensure it stays in the groove. Slide in the other back side. And lastly, attach your other side piece using the last six hex screws. Next, attach the casters around one to two inches from the side or about two finger widths. Use the self-tapping screws and a Phillips head screwdriver. Do the same for all four casters. And now you're done with one half of the unit. The other half is assembled in the exact same manner, the difference being that it will have the attached hinges and latch. When you finish assembling both halves, you'll need to combine the units with the hinges using the pre-drilled holes as a guide and securely attach them together using the provided self-tapping screws. With the hinges secured, Close the unit and attach the hasp using the pre-drilled holes as a guide. Ensure that the latch properly closes on the hasp. After both halves are securely attached, you can now close the unit, secure the latch, and easily roll it around to different locations. Thanks for watching. Check out rrigoods.com for more matching birch plywood educational furniture.